Hi everyone, Miss Sella here. I hope that you guys are having a great day. So I'm right here standing next to our, or a couple of our scarlet kale plants or trees. I think they're hitting almost six feet tall. I'm about five foot two. These were started from seeds back in March. And some of the ones that I started in April and May are also catching up. So when I read the description of the plants, it stated that they grow up to 36 inches tall. So they obviously have surpassed that height and they just keep growing. They are not bolting or flowering yet. So I'm really happy about that. And I'm so excited um, to see how tall they've, they've gotten. I'm very amazed at this. It's such a beautiful kale variety and great flavor and texture of the curly leaves. So I really love this plant. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the rest of them that are catching up, but wondering also if you guys have grown the scarlet kale variety, what are your results? Have they gotten this tall before? This is the first time I've grown them and I am amazed at how healthy and how tall they've gotten. So um, let's go down the row here and I'll show you the rest of them. Here are some of the younger ones that I started back in May. And I think they're almost about three feet tall. And when you get towards the left there, this one here is about four feet tall. A couple that are three feet tall again. And the one that's next to the tallest ones, that's a little bit over four and a half feet tall. Let me zoom in there. So there's another one right there to the left of the other two that's catching up. And again, those two very tall ones. So as you can see, I planted many scarlet kale plants. When I saw the pictures, I really wanted to grow them. And besides their great flavor and texture, um, they are beautiful plants to grow in your garden. So I hope that you guys give this variety a try. Let me know if you have planted them before. We'd like to know how they did in your garden. Oh, one more thing. When I planted them, I pretty much amended my soil with mainly compost, um, I think a little bit of cow manure, and I even added some warm castings and warm tea from Vermistera. So they were very small and when they were seedlings, that's what I did. And also some warm castings. So I think that made a difference, um, helped them become more healthy. Warm castings and warm tea thus help with the health of your soil. It brings the beneficial microbes, um, helps with nutrient absorption. So I think, and I believe that actually, that, that does make a difference when growing um, your garden and fruits and vegetables. So anyway, um, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful day everyone and happy gardening.